The Air Force released its 2024 aircraft development plan including its technical requirements. Details have been largely classified but the Air Force revealed that at least one prototype jet has flown. The new fighter will survive, operate, and adapt in the air domain, all in a highly contested operational environment. No one is doing this better than the U.S. Air Force, but we will lose that advantage if we don't move forward now. The United States is currently in the advanced stages of developing its sixth-generation fighter jet, an important step in maintaining its dominance in aerial warfare. These futuristic aircraft are expected to surpass their fifth-generation predecessors, such as the F-35, in terms of speed, stealth, maneuverability and advanced weaponry. The development of the sixth-generation fighter jet was driven by the need to counter emerging threats and ensure air superiority in an increasingly complex and contested environment. The aircraft will be designed to operate in highly contested airspace, with enhanced capabilities to evade enemy radars and detection systems. The United States Air Force is preparing sixth-generation fighter jets to maintain an advantage over China's rapid advancement of military technology. Lockheed Martin Corp, Boeing Co. and Northrop Grumman Corp. are expected to compete for the next-generation air dominance program, which will replace Lockheed's F-22 Raptors with drone-ready combat aircraft. The Air Force plans to spend $2.3 billion on the program in fiscal 2024, and an additional $595 million to continue development of new fighter engines. Collaborative combat aircraft is one of Air Force's greatest priorities, which will shape its future inventory and influence the way its aircraft are deployed. We are on a path to have more capabilities for unmanned aircraft, as you can see with the collaborative fighter, it can be a sensor, it can be a gunner, it can be a jammer. Budget cuts, the unexpectedly high cost of the F-35 stealth fighter, and a focus on low-intensity counterinsurgency operations over the past three decades have caused the fleet to shrink. If the Air Force is to fight a major adversary like China in the coming years, says one top general, it must bring the masses in its air power without breaking the bank. But piloted fighters alone will not be enough to maintain the United States' prized air superiority. Key aircraft in its fleet like the F-15C are aging fast, and the service is on track to retire more than twice as many fighters it buys over the next five years. That's why it's so important for the Air Force to build and field a planned fleet of at least 1,000 wingman drones to add to its fleet of combat aircraft. And the service is working to bring together industry ideas for what it calls a collaborative fighter and its own experiments to figure out how to make it happen. Boeing announced it will stop production of the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter in 2025. This is the first time Boeing has announced a firm deadline for ending fighter production. Typically, major military program development systems are designed to be kept in production and in use for as long as possible. It is known that the initial production of the F-18 fighter began in 1974 and has continued in various variants to date. Boeing plans to direct the approximately 1,500 employees supporting the Super Hornet program to the next generation fighter project. Boeing is already building three new facilities in St. Louis to produce a new type of aircraft, the sixth generation. We plan for our future, and building fighter planes is in our DNA. As we invest and develop the capabilities of the next era, 2,000 more F-18 Hornets produced the F-18 fighter was originally developed by McDonnell Douglas, after being acquired by Boeing its production fell into Boeing hands. More than 2,000 F-18 fighter aircraft have been produced, including the F-18 Hornet, F-A-18 Super Hornet and EA-18G Growler variants. The sixth-generation fighter will have a modular design, enabling the easy integration of new technologies and systems as they become available. This modular approach will ensure that the aircraft remains relevant and adaptable to evolving threats and operational requirements throughout its life. Development of the sixth-generation fighter jet involves close collaboration between the U.S. Department of Defense, defense contractors and research institutes. This collaboration ensures that the design and capabilities of the aircraft are aligned with the military's strategic goals while leveraging expertise and innovation from a wide range of stakeholders.